Todd. Welcome back to Get Moving TV. We've talked a little bit about the high tech nature, the investment that California is making in surge capacity, but really so something as complicated as uh, ventilation also has a human side to it too. We're joined today by Rod Bartz. Uh, Rod, welcome to our show. Thank you, it's good to be here. Well, I, I see that you have some apparatus there and that's, uh, has that been part of your life for a very long time? About the last uh, four years, been on a ventilator. Uh, I need it the whole time, even at night, but at least it gives me opportunity to get out. Were you able to get out with your family? Is, uh, what, what, what kinds of things are you able to do with your ventilator? Yes, the ventilators of today are much more portable, so things like going to the park with the family, maybe going to the zoo, are very, very fulfilling for me, and getting the family out there to be able to see those kind of activities, getting out in the sun makes a big difference. How about for yourself as an adult? How, how did you end up being ventilator dependent? Um, about four years ago, a farm accident tractor turned over, and I spent almost 40 months in an ICU and still need ventilatory support. In order to go home, this allowed me the freedom to get back to a home setting where the family could help take care of me. And it allowed me to see more of what life has to offer compared to being in a hospital ICU setting. Uh, do you have children? Yes, I have one daughter and two sons. They're about 21, 19, and 18. Just out of curiosity, I know we, we see list serves all the time with, with uh, ventilator patients uh, trading stories back and forth. What, what kind of ventilator did Christopher Reeves have? He also was on one of the LTV vents. So tell me a little bit more about, uh, have you been able to return to work? Is this something that you can, you can work at home or? I, I'm not able to go back to farming but with the help of the breathing apparatus, my mobility is much better, and now I can look into other avenues of work, mostly um, computer-related. That's, that's great. Here, certainly here in Ventura County, we have a lot of problems with, with farm uh, 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 machinery, and we do our very best to make certain that our farm workers uh, don't have problems. Uh, Rod, I'd like to thank you for joining us and, and sharing your life with us. Uh, Ventura County, we have a number of home care agencies that offer support like this for patients with um, ventilators. I think we've heard stories that it's not just the patient who's affected when you're in the intensive care unit, but the whole family. So I'd like to thank Rod to, and for helping us to here in Ventura County hear his story and make sure that we get moving and keep all this uh, in motion. Thank you.